We're also starting a pilot program to distribute the vaccine in our primary care clinics. Uh, details of that will be forthcoming, but we have been planning to make the vaccine available in clinics as soon as supply allows. It's more convenient there and it's more accessible for many. Uh, we'll continue to fine tune that process in the weeks ahead, uh, but this will be another venue we use to distribute vaccine as quickly and equitably as possible in cases because we've reopened a bit. So as we've said from the beginning, when, when individuals get together, um, the virus spreads if they haven't been vaccinated. So I think what we're seeing is a slow opening. Uh, I think states have felt like the uh, level of COVID activity had gotten down to a point where hospitals could handle those who became ill. Uh, they started to open things up and more and more people got together. We have not seen an increase like the big spike we had in January, which is good. And the, the real trick is, can we vaccinate fast enough to stay ahead of this? So all the more reason for people to get vaccinated um, and still be careful uh, as they get into groups. So uh, I think we're ahead of it enough that our hospitals won't be overwhelmed, uh, which is good, but we certainly don't want people to become ill and certainly die from COVID when there's vaccine now fairly readily available to people. Um, and so uh, I, I'm not surprised we've seen a little increase. I think that's to be expected with reopening. There are a lot of appointments out there. Um, and I think what we're seeing, in a piece that's a bit concerning is, um, you know, local health departments, which had appointments suddenly gone and within minutes when they were putting those out there are not having that anymore. So I think fairly quickly, we're going to move out of a phase where it's really hard to find a vaccine to we have slots and we need more people to use them. I worry a little bit that we're saturating the individuals in the community who are really desperate to get vaccinated. And now we're moving into a, a phase where individuals who really weren't that interested are, are the ones that are left and we have to continue to educate. Um, and help them understand the importance of that so that we, we can all collectively get back to the, you know, the lives we want to lead and the freedom we want to have to move around and do, do the things we're used to doing without worrying about becoming infected with COVID. So um, I, I think those allocations continue to go up for health departments, for healthcare systems, for pharmacies. Uh, and again, my experience has been that fairly easily I can find, I can find an appointment somewhere in my community online now. Um, so we will, as we get uh, doses, we will give those, we will move people up, um, you know, people can keep looking, but I, I think we're going to pass that threshold pretty quickly where it's uh, pretty easy to get one.